Alert. System breach. Oh. Firewall one. We got a problem. What? Someone synced a rat to one of my servers. A remote access tool. We're being hacked. By Locksat? I don't know. But we've been so careful. How could they find us? They haven't found us yet. Just cracked the outer layer of our system. I'll start an intrusion inspection and find out who our rat is. One guy, the whole thing comes down. Oh, hi. Elliot, just attacked. I've been asked a number of times to demonstrate the integration of Cisco Adaptive Security Device Manager or ASDM with a Cisco ASA running in GNS3. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to get a network up and running that consists of a Windows a VM and a Cisco Viral ASA. I'm not going to show you detailed information about how to download and configure an ASA. Have a look on YouTube for my videos that show you how to do that. As an example, the Cisco ASA 9.71 with GNS3 video shows you how to download, configure, and integrate a Cisco ASA with GNS3 on Windows. I also have a video called GNS3 ASA Setup showing you how to configure a Cisco ASA with a GNS3. I recorded that video on a Mac and then created an updated video showing you how to do something similar with a upgraded version of the ASA software by leveraging a viral image on Windows. In previous videos, I also showed you how to download and configure a GNS3 Windows QMU appliance. GNS3 have a Windows 7, Windows 10, Windows 8 QMU appliance, and Windows Server QMU appliance that you can run directly on the GNS3 VM. So if this video doesn't give you enough information and you need more information, have a look at those videos on YouTube. Otherwise, go to the GNS3 documentation and simply search for Cisco ASA. A lot of good information is available on the GNS3 documentation, showing you how to download, install, and configure various versions of Cisco ASA. GNS3 also provide download links for various versions of the Cisco ASA, as well as helping you solve problems with console connections on Cisco ASAs. So have a look at my videos or have a look at the documentation on the GNS3 website for more detailed information on how to set up Cisco ASA as well as configure ASDM with a Cisco ASA. I'm gonna do something very similar here where I'll show you how to set up an HTTP server and enable connections to the HTTP server and set up a basic firewall using the Cisco ASA. In this example, I'm using GNS3 version 2.1 beta 1 on a Mac. The process, however, is very similar on Windows as well as with GNS3 2.0. For ASDM, the first requirement is a Cisco ASA. If you don't have an ASA V, currently available in GNS3, go to gns3.com, go to the marketplace, appliances, and search for ASA. Select the ASA appliance and download it to your local computer. Then in GNS3, go to file, import appliance, select the Cisco ASA V appliance and click open. I'm gonna go through the wizard quickly 
as I've already covered the installation of a Cisco ASA in a lot of detail in other videos, as I've mentioned. So when the wizard starts up, click Next. The ASA V is gonna run on the GNS3 VM, click Next. In this case, my server requirements are okay, click Next. You have to provide your own ASA image. If you don't have one, register with Viral so that you can download the ASA image. Have a look at my other videos showing you how to download images from Cisco Viral and the videos that show you how to import a Cisco ASA. Neither I nor GNS3 can provide you with images. You have to provide it yourself. If you don't have access to Cisco images via the Cisco website, purchase a Viral account. Again, I've added a link below this video if you wanna get more details. My ASA 9.71 image has been found, so that's what I'm gonna install, so I'm gonna click Next. I'm asked whether I'd like to install this. The answer is yes. I'm gonna leave QMU settings at default and click Next. A summary is displayed showing me that the console type by default is VNC. I'm gonna click Next. I'm told that the ASA goes through a double boot. That is normal. So you simply need to wait for the ASA to boot twice when you import it into GNS3. I'm gonna click Finish. Now in this example, I already have a Cisco ASA 9.71 installed in GNS3. So I'm gonna call this Cisco ASA V971 ASDM and click OK. That's now been installed in GNS3. So under firewalls, I have my ASAV ASDM, which I can drag to the workspace. Under end devices, I also have my Windows 7 QMU appliance. Again, have a look at this video if you don't have that appliance available. I'm also going to drag an Ethernet switch to the topology and run that on the GNS3 VM. Essentially, all devices in this topology are running on the GNS3 VM. That's recommended when you use a Windows or a Mac. I'm also gonna drag a NAT cloud to the GNS3 workspace. Now initially, I'm gonna connect the NAT cloud to the Ethernet switch so that I can update the Windows 7 VM and install software on it. Once I've got Java installed, I'll move the cloud to the outside interface of the ASA. So initially, the Windows host is gonna have internet access, but later on, I'll move the NAT cloud to the outside interface of the ASA and the Windows host will access the internet via the ASA. I can't breathe, cause you push me back. I should have stayed, stayed away from you. It feels like I'm, I'm being attacked. I don't know what, what I'm gonna do. You're trying to improve me, why you do that to me? I don't wanna be with you. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it, and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I want to wish you all the very best.